Hello and welcome to this Palo Alto Networks Tech Tip. In this edition, we're going to be talking about preparing the bootstrap package, which is necessary if you wish to bootstrap a Palo Alto Networks firewall in any of the public cloud environments. When a firewall in factory default state is deployed, it can be configured to look for a file share or storage bucket. If found, it will then look for a bootstrap package. If a bootstrap package is found, those settings can be used to configure the firewall. The bootstrap package consists of four folders, config, content, license, and software. Note that all must be present, however, they do not all have to be populated. Here we see an example bootstrap package with all four folders populated. The config folder has two files in it, init-config.txt as well as bootstrap.xml. We will look at those here in a moment. The content folder has the version of the apps and threats database that we wish the firewall to apply at boot time. The license folder has the auth codes file in it. This file contains the authorization key that enables various features as well as capacity on the firewall. If you wish to upgrade the firewall software at boot time, populate the software folder with the relevant PanOS version that you wish to apply. Knit-config.txt file is the only file that is absolutely required when bootstrapping the firewall. It contains various settings that the firewall applies when it first boots up. In addition to these most basic settings, you can also use it to have the firewall automatically add itself to Panorama if you are using Panorama for centralized management. Refer to our published documentation for additional details on the init-config file as well as its configuration options. The bootstrap.xml file is the configuration that the firewall self-applies just prior to the completion of the bootstrap process. This file can be customized to include common localized settings such as administrative usernames and passwords, DNS settings, NTP settings, etc. It is also used in auto-scaling environments to ensure that all deployed firewalls have a consistent configuration. As mentioned previously, the auth codes file contains the authorization key necessary to enable various features on the firewall as well as configure its capacity at boot time. For additional information regarding bootstrapping or the VM series in general, please refer to our published documentation at docs.paloaltonetworks.com slash vm series. We hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or feedback, please contact your local Palo Alto Networks systems engineer.